Hello everyone! Happy Tuesday! It is a pretty rainy Tuesday today. And it is also International Coffee Day for all of my fellow coffee drinkers. But today we are obviously focusing on tea because it is Tuesday. And so I have my very lovely That's the Tea Sis mug, which I am repping. And so very much. It may or may not be filled with coffee, but we are going to be spilling some tea for y'all, so don't you worry. Hey. hey! All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome. Welcome to Tea Tuesday. I'm Justin. I'm Brian. And here's the tea this week at Elm. <sighs> that tea. Ooh, I, I, was, I was just telling everyone that today is International Coffee Day. And so I, you know, as... I am a coffee lover, you know, I also have to make sure I'm focusing on the tea that we've got going on today, which we are going to be spilling, don't you worry. Oh, for sure, and I wish I'd known that because I would have made myself a cup of coffee instead of the cup of apple cider I have just because I'm so excited for all these fall things we've got going on. Apple cider, oh my goodness gracious. You know it. Well, with that being said, let's just dive right in, shall we? So thank you so much to everyone who joined us this past Saturday for Fireside Collective as part of the Lantern series. We had a lot of fun and it looked like everyone was also just having a great time and just vibing and bopping with the band and just, yeah, it, it was just so much fun. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we were so excited to have the group. They were so much fun. I don't know uh, if you were still in downtown Woodstock as we were uh, closing down. They felt like they were really back into it. They actually got out of Frisbee and they started throwing it, throwing it around the green because, you know, it's a little bit of normalcy for everyone. So it, it was nice to uh, to have them here and to give them a little sense of normalcy and to give our audience more sense of normalcy with another event. Yeah. And so if you're looking for more outdoor things to do, well, we have a jam-packed month of things in October that are all outside that you're gonna get to have a lot of fun and a lot of different experiences too. So kicking things off this Sunday from one to six is our seventh annual Art on the Green, all right? So if you have never been to outdoor, to outdoor, if you've never been to Art on the Green, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you, okay? So it is our annual outdoor art market and we are going to have a wonderful array of local artists and artisan uh, crafters and makers and they're you know they're going to have have their tent set up and you're going to be able to to walk around we've got we'll have everything very much spaced out and you'll be able to check out some of the things that these artists have been working on and if you're wondering hmm you know i i really wonder you know, what, what type of artists are going to be there? You know, what, what sort of things that, you know, we're going to have? Well, we are doing our, we're working on our artist spotlight. So you will get to get a little sneak peek into the artists that we're going to have at, at the festival. So we've got that going on on our Instagram stories. I've made that as a highlight uh, onto our, our page on Instagram right here. So you're able to just like click the little art on the green uh, tab, the little highlight, and it's going to go through all of the, the different artists that we've got going on. We're going to update that. Um, we're going to do about one to two or sometimes even three artists a day. So you'll get to kind of check out who we're highlighting. And we've got that going through our other social channels as well. Another thing that we're doing this year that's making art on the green a little different, um, but also still, I think, a really cool and unique experience is we are offering an online digital market this year, okay? So what we're going to be doing is uh, starting at one o'clock on Art on the Green on that Sunday, this coming Sunday, we're going to have a link go live that will have you be able to check out some of the artists who are there at Art on the Green. We'll also have some, uh, some like digital only artists who are going to be exclusive to that web page, and that's a great way for you to check out some of their work and you know still continue to support their work. Um, you know whether 
you know, you're able to come to Art on the Green in person, we'll have that as an option for you to check out and be able to continue to support them. And we're going to have that link available through the following Sunday, so October 10th at 11.59 p.m. So you'll have um, a, pretty much about a week, um, a little less than a week, uh, where that link will be live and you'll be able to check that out and be able to support your local artists in our community. So hope that you, you take advantage of that because that's going to be something that's going to be really cool and a great way to say, yes, I am getting a unique gift. I am supporting local. I am supporting my arts. Like you get to do all of that. Yeah, that's super exciting. Art in the Green is so much fun every year. It's really hard to believe that we've done this for seven straight years. Um, so we're excited to be able to still bring it to you in a time like this. And um, yeah, go ahead and come on out. And uh, pups are welcome. So go ahead and bring your pups out too. Um, she was whining. She really wanted to be on tea today. So Aww. is um, Coco gonna make an appearance? I don't know. I know Vivian might be stopping by, so Coco might be making an appearance. We'll see. Um, but I'm not sure, Justin. I don't know if you have this information. Is there still time to sign up and get a booth if you are an artist? Yes. So if you are an artist and you're interested in participating, whether that's um, for the live in-person market or if you just want to be part of the digital market, we have both options available for you. You are still able to sign up for a slot. Um, I believe uh, this coming Thursday at 5 p.m. is when we are um, we are stopping submission just so that way we're able to uh, make sure we've got everything all in order and ready to go for Sunday. So yes, Sunny, I saw that you got a booth. So yay, we are so excited to see you on Sunday. So if you want to be like Sunny, you are still able to go ahead and sign up to get a booth. Like I said, you can do the in-person option or you can just do the digital option. So whatever it is you're comfortable with, we've got options for both. Um, so do not fret. If you still want to participate, we would love to have you. Um, and on our website, you know, we, we've got all of that information right there uh, to let you know everything, you know, that we're going to be doing to keep everybody safe. All right. So we've got that info right there for you as well. Okay. So got that. We got uh, that. So that's Art on the Green. So get ready for that on Sunday. And then the following Saturday, that is October 10th, we are doing a cabaret outside on the event green. So if you are looking for an evening of musical theater, we got you. Like if you're like, I, I need my musical theater fix. I, I, need to, I need to hear show tunes. Like, I, like that is what I've been missing in my life. Then we've got you. Like, so, um, back in, backing up just a little bit, um, in case you have not heard. So we have cast our production of Dogfight, uh, production dates to be determined. But one of the things that we're doing to give you a little sneak peek is we're doing an outdoor cabaret that's going to feature some of the songs from Dogfight, which has beautiful music. Like if, if you are familiar with the music from Dear Evan Hansen, it's written by the same, it's written by the same team. So you, you get that like contemporary musical theater feel. And then our, our wonderful talent that we have for the production is also going to be singing some other musical theater pieces as well. So you'll get to and just really sit back, relax and enjoy a great evening of some show tunes. I mean, who does not love show tunes? Like, I I do not know anyone who does not love show tunes. And if you're saying, I don't love show tunes, well, then you're lying to yourself um, and you have not seen the right musical then for you. Um, and yeah, so that is, is a challenge. There is a show whose tunes you do love. You just don't know what show that is. Yet. Right? You, you just don't know it yet. Like ev everyone, you, you, you love show tunes. You just don't know it yet. So we, and hope, you know, hopefully you will find a show tune that you enjoy when you are at the cabaret out on the green. So October 10th, go ahead and check that out. We are doing, we're doing a variety of seating for that, very much like the Lantern series. So we'll have tables uh, and y'all, these tables are like cheap. Dirt cheap. Like you are able to, to sit with 
six to eight of your friend, friends, depending on the table. And like, I think at most you're paying like $40. Yep, and that's 40 for eight people. So like five bucks a person. Right, like, come on, you do the math. Like, and you tell me like, that is not a great deal. Like you, you are saving money. Like we, like, come on, we love that. Yep, there's nothing that is that cheap right now unless it's free and girl, like, this is just a fun experience. Like $5, that's nothing. Right? Then, the following, the following week, October 17th, we've got our final Lantern Series concert for this calendar year, so 2020. Uh, we've got Sammy Ray and the Friends. Brian, you want to tell us a little bit more about Sammy Ray and those I Friends? I want to about all the bops that are about to come out of the concert, y'all. Um, I've said this before, I've had a friend who uh, sent me some music and this one song, Denim Jacket by Sammy Ray came on. I was like, ooh, this is fun. Like, I like this. Like, this could fit in the Lantern series. I'll look for it in a couple seasons. And I kept looking into the artist because actually right now, y'all, is around the time of year that I'm starting to build the next season. Um, obviously, things have changed and some artists can, want to be able to go home to Ireland and want to be able to go home to Canada and these places where they wouldn't be able to go home to where they'd come over here. So... We had to push them back, and I was like, you know what? Let me just try booking Sammy Ray right now, and it worked. Um, so we're so excited to have uh, Sammy Ray and the Friends come down here. Her music is so much fun. It's this indie funk kind of bopping style, and you're just like, if you watch any of her YouTube videos, she's just all about making sure the audience is having a great time, and I know you will when you come to this concert. Um, this is not the concert to miss. There's, you know, you have a subscription, you're like, wow, there's been a lot back to back, I want to go out to the lake one weekend. That's not this weekend. That is not October 17th. You got to come see Sammy Ray and the Friends. I think is going to be, that's going to be the biggest group we've ever had on our stage. Um, there's backup singers, and that's just their job. They're not playing instruments either. They're just singing backup for her. Um, there's brass players. There's keys. There's all of the things, and it's just going to be a great, fun time. Um, so y'all got to come out and see that. Yes, and then rounding out our October because you know what we've been like telling y'all we're pretty much towards the end of October the following weekend the full weekend October 23rd through the 25th so that is a Friday a Saturday as well as a Sunday all at 7 p.m. again Friday Saturday Sunday all at 7 p.m. we are doing Shakespeare out on the green we are doing comedy of errors all right which is one of Shakespeare's first plays that that he's written um, or wrote, I guess, um, since he is no longer with us, rest in peace. Um, <laughs> but it is, it is just so wacky and it is so full of fun. Uh, we we announced our our cast uh, this past weekend, um, and so if you are familiar with the Parent Trap. If you are familiar with Sister Sister, I'm trying to think of like any other like twins not knowing they're twins and then meeting and then chaos ensuing films. I'm pretty um, sure there was one that just with uh, Vanessa Hudgens where like one like she was a princess, but she also wasn't. Like there's one on Netflix about that. Like y'all, people took comedy airs and said, "Oh, this is great. Let's just do it 18 different times in modern culture because it's great." And we're going to show you the OG, like the OG great one. Right? And the fun thing that we're doing with it is, obviously, it is like a week away from Halloween at that point when we're doing the production. So, obviously, we're going to do it with a Halloween theme. Like, come on, costumes? Like, who doesn't love a good Halloween costume? Yeah, and that would, that's going to be a lot of fun. We're doing that along with, I'm setting it in New Orleans, so it kind of has that, like, jazzy sort of feel to it and it just kind of has that more like ghost and spooky because there's all of that stuff happening in new orleans especially around halloween um so we're super excited for that um and also it's another one like the cabaret i don't have the numbers sitting right here with me but like it is cheap to get a table i want to say they're roughly five to six dollars a person for a seat um and y'all we just want to be able to give you something once again for those theater heads that haven't been able to see anything if you're like me you have your fox season subscription and it, it gets keeps getting pushed back for good reason um and then there's other theaters around that aren't able to do stuff because they have these very small intimate beautiful spaces and luckily we have this outdoor space where we can spread everybody out 
And if enough of you come out, we can fit 300 outside comfortably. We can fit 400 outside comfortably. And everyone's spaced out, socially distant. And the other thing about this one too, the director really loved the idea of doing it at seven and having everyone bring their own dinner to the event. So food and drink that's non-alcoholic is more than welcome in the space. We will be providing the alcohol from like Atlanta Hard Cider and Reformation. Oh, come on. Come on, merch. Um, and Reformation and some other great wineries and things. We are so excited to be able to uh, give you kind of a nice little picnic in the park feel with some Shakespeare and just having a grand old time round out this six week stretch of Elm Street doing something every single week and all for you specifically. Right? I, you know what? And Brian, I was thinking about this actually as I was driving home mm -hmm. from uh, Fireside Collective on Saturday, but we're already a third done. Yeah, with our like six week, I'm gonna call it an arts palooza. Like that, that is what I'm gonna call it from now on. Like, what are, what are y'all doing? We're having an arts palooza. Like, <laughs> gotta be doing something right now, y'all. Like, we only have right. <laughs> so we've we've got all of those events coming up, and then don't you worry because we've also got you in November as well as December. All right, we're gonna be announcing some holiday things. All right, so you can go fa la 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 yee. Um, so don't worry, we've got more information uh, about what we're doing over the holiday season your way. Do not fret. And then also in November, at the end of November, November 22nd, which that's the weekend prior to Thanksgiving. I never know when Thanksgiving falls anymore because it just, it's never the same, just the way Thanksgiving works as a whole. I've never understood that. Um, but that that's another conversation for me to have internally with myself. Um, but November 22nd, we are so thrilled because we're going to be doing a comedy special, very much like those comedy specials you watch on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime or insert streaming service here. Uh, we have the pleasure of getting to work with Jessica. It's all good. If you've seen her doing her stuff, you know, during uh, Last Laugh as our wonderful hostess, or, you know, she has been involved with Rep Tour over the past couple of years. Um, so she's been going to local elementary schools and getting to just show off her wonderful acting talents. But she is doing an original scripted production. Um, I'm gonna call it a production. Um, oh my gosh, come, come through Elliot with the hard eyes, yes. <laughs> But she's doing an original scripted comedy special. And so she's doing it just for us. So it is going to be like, you are going to be the first person to get to see uh, this content that she has created in this show that's created. And it's called We're All Chocolate. And it centers around her and, you know, her experiences, you know, as a Black woman in the world. And so, she, you know, she touches on, you know, experiences of, you know, of race that she's had, but she touches on them, you know, in, in a really lighthearted and funny way that allows us to still have those conversations, but to be able to laugh about it. And I think that's a great way to be able to understand things from someone else's point of view is to be able to have, you know, that collective laugh about something. So I'm really looking forward uh, to being able to, to present something like that. We're going to have an in-person option. It's going to be very limited seating uh, with social distancing and everything like that, of course. But another thing that we're going to do is we're also offering a, a digital stream of the show as well. So you are still able, you know, so whether we're at capacity or, you know, if you would just feel more comfortable watching from the comfort of your own home, you have that option to do that. Yeah. And one thing that I was talking to Jessica about it, she's, you know, one, a hoot. I love her so much. Oh my gosh, adore her. I was like, a little itty bitty baby. But like, love Jessica. Um, she was saying that part of what she loves about her job, because she, she's a comedian full time. She, yeah, woohoo, digital. Yes, woo digital. Don't worry, y'all. I will send y'all that info, okay? Um, but she loves being able to just put a smile on people's faces and also do it with like very serious topics too and just to be able to create conversation. And that's what Elm Street, well, that's what we were about. You know, we want to present something like Decision Height and create the conversation around our veterans and the women Air Force service pilots that were, um, that died during World War II, even though they never went across um, the seas. You know, we want to create conversations like we did with Next to Normal about mental health and help with volunteerism and things like that. Well, Jessica is going to help us do the same thing through comedy.
both in person and digitally. So y'all like check it out. Um, I need to verify this. So we're going to double check this for next T. Um, but I think that if you uh, if you buy the ticket for the in person show, you still do get a, an access code to the digital show as well. Um, because we're going to leave that up and live for the next uh, week or so, I believe after the stream or after the initial live stream and initial performance. So uh, we worked that out with Jessica too. She's okay with us keeping it up. So you guys can go back and go, oh, there's this really, really, really funny part. I got, I got to go back and watch that again. So, which the whole thing is going to be a really funny part. I hate to tell you, she's fantastic. Right. So like, spoiler alert, you're going to laugh. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not like one of those comedy specials you pull up on Netflix sometimes and you're like, okay, this isn't for me. Like Jessica's just great. Just overall for everyone. Oh my gosh. She's just a wonderful human being. And we, we need more wonderful human beings in our world. Like, yes. <sighs> All right, Brian, I think that might be it. We've, we've kind of covered covered all of our bases um mm -hmm. so we we do hope to see you this sunday at art on the green right on our event green outside from 1 to 6 p.m it is free to attend and you know we're gonna have like i said we're gonna have our our vendors there we're gonna have a you know that digital market and you'll be able to access that through the following saturday um and i get to keep up my my yearly tradition um now like so it's going to be year three for me of doing um, doing the Facebook Live during um, during Art on the Green, which has always been like super duper fun. I the the first year that I did it was um, it was the the spinning because I I normally I go to like a demo um, area that like the artists do. Um, some of them, you know, obviously have a little bit more hands on um, pieces, and so there was um, I. What is it called? Like spinning art, I, I guess. Um, where like it, yeah. So like you put a, a canvas or like a piece of paper on a spinner, um, and then like you take um, like little bottles of paint and like you, you know, you you squeeze them and like they make like really like cool cool things because like they're they're spinning and they're in motion. Um, and so I you know went to go do it and I took you know a bottle of paint and I was like okay, the, the, the pain isn't coming out. So, you know, maybe I need to like, just try like squeezing it like a little bit harder. And like, oh. literally the entire thing of paint just exploded onto the canvas, exploded onto me. Uh, the piece turned out like really well though, I must say. Um, but it was like, you can't make that up. And especially like doing it live, like so much fun. And then last year I did, um, uh, it was like some sort of like galaxy art. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see, uh, what, uh, what art awaits me this year during the, uh, the live stream, uh, as yeah. I'm going through some of our vendors and, and talking with them and kind of giving y'all a behind the scenes look, um, oh no, Macy has Nutcracker rehearsal, but Macy, you can check out the online store. All right. So if you, you can still check out all of the things and if, you know, you want to grab, a piece you'll be able to to make a purchase uh, on some of the pieces uh, right then and there on on the digital store. So we got you, all right. It we will we will miss seeing you there in person, but you will still have that option mm -hmm. to do that to do that online and grab a really nice piece of art, which is exciting. Yeah. So this Sunday we got art on the green. Next, the following weekend. We have the cabaret out on the green. The following weekend, we got Sammy Ray and all her bops and all her friends coming out on the green. Then the following weekend, we have you bringing your picnic, enjoying some Shakespeare, and laughing it up with comedy of errors or comedy of terrors. terrors. Y'all, and that's what we got going on for this Arts Palooza, at least through these months. And then you can see Jessica, it's all good, November. And that's, that's the tea, sis. Also, again, happy International Coffee Day, y'all.